Hello, everyone, and welcome to my show. I'm your girl, Melody Trice, and you know that I'm all about life unlimited. And I'm not just all about just life unlimited, but I'm about life unlimited for everyone. And today, my guests truly are living life unlimited. There are women who are in power, who are doing things to let you know, honey, it does not stop here. So you definitely want to stay tuned to this show today. So we'll be right back after this break. Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. We We just just finished finished dinner dinner and it was time time for homework. He hates homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's just trying as hard as I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Well, one of the things I do admire about my next guest, she's a true example of women empowerment. So I want you to help me welcome Christina Cooper to the show. Hey, guys. (laughs) Well, I am so excited to have you here. Thank you for having me again. (laughs) And since the last time you was here, you have really grown. Yeah. I know you have your own makeup line. Mm -hmm. So tell us how that actually got started. So I started, I think, the first time I came here on set with you. Um, From there, I've just kind of branched out into doing, like, a T-shirt collection with, like, clothes. And, like, now I'm doing lingerie. And I actually just wrote my first film. Wow. So we're filming next week. And um, it's going to be premiering in a theater as well. Uh, here in Los Angeles, wow. and I'm just, you know, hustling any way I can, so. You are unlimited. Exactly. And, you know, one of the things I think about is so many times mm-hmm. we find excuses of why we don't do stuff, mm-hmm. and you truly are actually making your own opportunity, right? Trying to, trying to. You got to just push forward, and a lot of my friends are like, oh, like, are you doing, like, too much at a time? But I feel like you envision what you want and then you just try everything because some things might not work out but that one thing is going to work out and life is short why not do yeah. it all why stop exactly when, if the opportunity presents itself and one of the things i see with you you are prepared for these opportunities mm-hmm. you try know. to be well i mean you're doing it it's mm-hmm. not like okay i i gotta figure it out mm-hmm. because if you had to figure it out it wouldn't actually be profitable true and true. you know i know that when you had your actual launch of your makeup line yes. and the red carpet. Tell us about that experience seeing it in Sephora. That was amazing to have Sephora help sponsor my event and Maybelline was amazing. We had like goodie bags with makeup and it was just amazing. It was so amazing. We sold out of the hoodies too so that was wow. dope. Yeah. And you also have these t-shirts with your amazing face on mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Those are actually sold here in Pasadena at Lavish, a clothing store on Colorado Boulevard. Wow. Yeah. Locally. Yeah, locally so in South like Pasadena. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I know with everything you're doing, mm-hmm. how do you manage your acting career along mm-hmm. with your actual, you know, being an entrepreneur? Um, it's a little difficult, but um, I just feel like when your heart is in it for the right reasons, it makes it a little easier. Um, like everything that I'm doing with within my career, my purpose here on earth, I feel like not to get all deep on y'all, no, but girl, we like deep. <laughs> my we purpose, like deep. <laughs> my purpose here on earth, I think, um, well, I know is to help people, and I feel like it would be easier if I had a voice. Mm-hmm. So, um, not only do I want the best for myself, but I want to be able to inspire others and like you know the oncoming generation. So. Wow. I just, you know, got to have myself together before I can give advice to other people. Truly, because that's, you know, really you overcome by your testimony. Mm-hmm. And then you don't have a testimony if you don't actually go through some type of right. test. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, and, and with your acting, I mm-hmm. know that you have um, done a lot of things from do white people to mm-hmm. being actually, like, as you said, mm-hmm. writing your own film. Yeah. And with your lunch, I actually want us to take a look of the red carpet and, and everything. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. So everybody, you know what? I want you to take a look at this right now. Let's look. Like styling, like making actual dresses, rompers, and like coats, like actual fashion pieces. But this was just like a random thing, and I'm just going with the flow. And luckily, lavish, you know, let me sell my shirts here. They have like an amazing store, so I'm just super grateful. Thank you. 
Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. We, we just, just finished, finished dinner, dinner and, and it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard a little as harder. I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Christina, that was amazing, girl. Thank you. That was exciting, huh? It really was. It was a good turnout, for sure. Yeah, we can tell it was an amazing turnout. <laughs> and then to actually have your stuff displayed in, in Sephora, I think that was just simply, that was a blessing all by itself. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, so what encouragement word would you give to other young people out there who who your age mm -hmm. that will actually like to do something like that who, you know, really don't have the nerve to do it? Hmm. I would say... I really, I'm a firm believer in envisioning things. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think if you just constantly like envision what it is that you want and you write down, you know, your goals, like what you want to do to get to where you want to go, mm -hmm. that really helps. Like writing things down. I make vision boards also. And I feel like that's a good way to remind yourself every day, like, okay, this is what I want in life. And it doesn't have to be just materialistic things. It could be, you know, more confident, or more giving, you know, it could be inner things as well. Well, you know, that actually is really big. Yeah. Because if you don't have the confidence in who you are as a person, technically you cannot be an entrepreneur. It's difficult. You yeah. know, because people will run over you. Yeah, definitely. And as you were saying, deep, one of the things I think about is, mm -hmm. and I always refer things to the Bible because that's what I know. Yeah. He said, write the vision and make it plain. Exactly. You know, so if you don't have nothing to write down nobody mm -hmm. can really run with your vision right right yeah you know and obviously you show people your vision right mm -hmm. because you say you collaborated with some people on the east coast yeah uh-huh miss mascara denise toledo she um is like the the main person of the brand and she kind of did the collab with me and um speaking of such mm -hmm. um the hair that i have it's like clip-ins but this is going to be like the christina cooper collection too and wow. it matches my natural yeah because i wouldn't hair. even know girl yeah yeah so that's coming soon also that's what, <laughs> i'm like i don't know no, but you know much, what but. no you're not doing too much and that's what i i have to just intervene in that because mm -hmm. i don't want you to ever think that and take that away don't let nobody like yeah. tell you you're doing too much because people will love to have those opportunities yeah true and obviously you can handle it you know what i'm saying and a yeah. lot of times what you have to do as a person and win is block out what other people think because yeah. a lot of times that's what happened to us it's difficult yeah we're, <laughs> we're so focused on what other people think of us mm -hmm. that we'll stop doing what we're doing yep. because we don't want to offend them. Exactly. And they're not doing nothing. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you keep doing what you're doing. Sorry, Thank I didn't mean you. to go all there, but no, no, no. I don't Thank ever you. want you to feel that way. Yeah, I need to. I mean, we're all human, so that's something that I work on every single day um, within being in the industry is like you kind of have to ignore the people who don't support you and just kind of stay in your own lane and stay positive. So. Yeah, because a lot of times the people that we, that's not supporting us are the people that we really want to support us. Yeah. You know mm, what I'm saying? Definitely. And, and to me, I just think, because like me, I'm a loner. You know, yeah. I, you know <laughs> so, yeah. it's, it's almost like the closer you get to the top, the less people are there. Yeah. And to me, I believe that it's the reason because Technically, you don't need to take them people where you're going. Exactly. They can't. They don't have the character to stay there, girl. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Sorry, y'all. We didn't mean to preach y'all, but you know what I'm saying. We just keep, we it, keep real. it real. Exactly. <laughs> because that's what people relate to. Yeah. And that's how you go to the top. Mm -hmm. And that's where you going. Thank All you. All the way to the top, girl. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank oh my you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, you stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break, girl. These are cool. Did you um? What did? We just, just finished dinner, dinner and, and it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard as harder. I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're all about women living life unlimited. One of our stars right here, Christina Cooper, is truly living life unlimited. <laughs> so look, one of the things I want to ask you, is it okay mm -hmm. if we take some Q&A from the audience? Yeah, of course. So let's head to the audience. 
<laughs> my name is Starkwell. My question is, how do you do to manage your time? Because you mm -hmm. say you have a lot of business. How do you do to have everything done? Um, I would say my, my biggest pointer would be writing stuff down. Um, there's days where I'm like filming and I have to go to a shoot or I have an interview or you know I'm working on my business so mm -hmm. I just write down everything I need to do that day what time I need to do it by and basically that's about it so I would say writing it down Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and I think that's amazing because if you do write it down you, you kind of don't get confused of, exactly. of what you have to do. Yeah. Because trying to Figure it all out in your head take a long yeah, time. Yeah, it sounds cliche, but for sure writing it down. <laughs> I'm gonna take that hint, girl. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's take another uh, question from my audience. Okay. Hi, my name Hi. is Tisha, Hi. and I was researching you online, mm -hmm. and I just have to ask you, are you dating Chris Brown? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, um, I actually modeled for um, his clothing line, Black Pyramid, and, um, he posted me on his Instagram, which he posts like other models, you know, from his, um, that, that have modeled for him also. But um, they, I don't know why they, his fans wanted to come up with all this stuff about me and him. Um, but no, we're just, we're not dating. Wow. Yeah, but he's cool. Yeah. You know. And all that good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That cleared that up, girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, you know, I, I, I thank you so much to the audience for your q and I appreciate yes. that, girl. Yes. <laughs> well, look, before we, you know, leave today, I really mm -hmm. do want to know how people can mm -hmm. learn more about what you're doing and yeah. how they can, like, just for more information and how they can stay in contact with you. Um, Instagram, that's basically it. You guys can follow me at the Christina Cooper on Instagram and... All oh, that good stuff. Yeah, I don't have a Twitter. Well, uh, it's okay, girl. Yeah. Everybody don't have all the social <laughs> medias. And, and one of the things I wanted to ask you, too, is, you know, kind of relating to the question that she had yeah. asked. As a celebrity, you know, mm -hmm. how did that make you feel to have rumors about you, mm -hmm. especially with someone of that caliber? Um, I mean, uh, it's a little weird because sometimes... Um, you know, like someone like Chris Brown, he has, you know, all these fans, like mm -hmm. a whole bunch of fans, and some of them aren't the nicest. Some of them are nice. So, you know, you get both. A mixture. Yeah, you get a mixture of, like, stuff. So it was, like, my first time dealing with that type of thing where, you know, it's some fans that are, like, going ham, you know, on, online, on Instagram. And, yeah, but it's all an experience. And one day, you know... I'll probably be at that caliber, and yeah, yeah. Well, but he's a really one. good person. Yeah, well, you're definitely on your way up there. Like Thank we can you. totally see that and <laughs> and everything because that's something I think every celebrity deals with is some type of backlash from from people, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So yeah. I commend you for actually handling it in a professional way. Thank you. <laughs> that's that entrepreneur skills, hey. girl. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you so much. We for gotta have her back me. again, y'all, because she's so fabulous. Oh. And you know, and one of the things that I want everybody to know is that mm -hmm. later on we have some gifts that's going to be going to yes, the audience definitely. for participation, especially the ladies who had the questions. Yes. So thank you so much. And look, before you leave, this time we got another guest. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we'll be right back, y'all, after this break. <laughs> Did you know parking over tall, dry grass can spark a wildfire? Only you can prevent wildfires. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. You know these ladies are truly living life unlimited, so I want you to help me welcome my next guest, Lindsay Abdullah. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. That's beautiful, girl. Thank you. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. You look amazing as well. Thank you. And I know you have a lot of things going on right now. Yes. With your show, with mm -hmm. your clothing line. And one of the things I really do want to ask you is how did you get started with your clothing line? Well, basically my mom. When I was a little girl, like about five years old, I, was, I would listen to the sound of her sewing machine while I was sleeping wow. <laughs> and while she was up late sewing. So I would 
watch everything she did, like she knew how to make her own patterns, and she would make her own patterns from newspaper. So I learned all my basic blocks, like the shirt, the sleeve, the skirt, from watching my mom. Wow, and it just led from there. Uh huh. And so I, now you're a celebrity stylist. Yes. You know, tell me, how did that come about? Who was your actual first celebrity that you styled their clothes for? My first celebrity was Rick Mora and Farrah Abraham for the females. Wow. Rick Mora from Twilight, yeah, and Farrah Abraham from Teen Mom. How did that, how did that feel? <laughs> it felt amazing. It felt amazing. So was it your own design or was it something? It was my own design, yeah, because I'm a designer first, then I'm a stylist. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I keep forgetting it. It is a difference. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a difference. <laughs> because, you know, actually when I, I think about stylists and, and, and then a designer, the, mm -hmm. the stylist may just style the clothes, but yeah. the designer actually make the clothes for that person. Do yes. you like learn who that person is to design oh, it, or, or how do you go about doing that? Definitely. Um, my clients usually come to me, they either have an idea already in mind, mm -hmm. and if they don't, I create one. Most people trust my, trust my judgment, so they allow me to create what I would want to create for them. Wow. Do you have your own clothing line? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, girl, let's talk about that. Leontine Collection. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And how long have you been doing that? I've been doing it. I, you know, I've been sewing all my life, but professionally in the industry as a fashion designer, it's been about 15 years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So where do you see yourself going as, an, as a designer? Well, I'm branding my signature brand, Leontine, and that's for my females. So it's Leontine Collection and House of Leontine. Those will be red carpet dresses, evening gowns, party dresses, things like that. And then my father's name is Leon. So lately I've been doing a lot of men's suits, tuxedos. So wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to brand Leon by Leontine Abdullah. Well, you know, mm -hmm. that actually was my next question because yes. I was going to ask, <laughs> you know, we're all about life unlimited and mm -hmm. truly I was like, are you just limited to women or are you like oh, no. unlimited <laughs> to men as well? Yeah, I'm, I branched out to men because I used to just do them per case, you know, per basis, but now I'm... I have a line for men. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. I think that's good. Thank you. Because, you know, there's a lot of women out there who do design clothing. That yes. I, they like, no, I think I want to <laughs> stay with the women. Yeah, that's how I was at first because it's my passion. I love dresses. I love gowns, evening gowns, things that are body conscious. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much why I was just only doing women. And now there's, like, guys, they would come to me, and over the years, they said, well, can you make a blazer? Can you make a, pa a pair of pants? I'm like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm like, I can make anything. <laughs> wow, because technically it's yes. almost the same thing, mm -hmm. right? It is. Wow. Yeah. Well, look, we definitely want to stay tuned and talk some more. So I want everybody to stay tuned because we got some more up next with Nancy Abdullah. I love your name, Thank girl. you. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. We just, just finished dinner, dinner, and it was time, time for homework. homework. He I hates hate homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as try hard as harder. I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. These are cool. Did you, um, what did you? Hello, everybody. You just tuned in. We are here with Lizzie Abdullah. She is a designer with many hats. Yes. Because one of the things I know you are also into film as well. Yes. And you have your own TV show coming out. Yes. And tell us a little bit about the process of actually, you know, taking it to another level. Well, I used to do workshops for Mood Fabrics in Los Angeles. And what I would basically do is I would teach anyone who wanted to learn how to make a clutch purse because I design clutch purses as well. Oh, as I mentioned, I can design anything. You are <laughs> yes. And I would teach them how to um, make appliques, their own personal appliques for evening gowns or um, for skate dresses or anything. Any type of dress or party type idea that they had in mind, I would teach them that. And I would also teach them how to make linens for their home and like pillows and decorative things. So I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to incorporate that into a TV show. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it's out of your show? That's so Leontine. Play oh on word. <laughs> SCW. <laughs> That's so Leontine. I love it. Yes. It has that ring to it, girl. Mm -hmm. Because you know, a lot of people, and that's so rare, Yes. to have a show that's about actually sewing because we all wear clothes. Yes, we all wear clothes. You know, and to have a designer to design what it is. Because mm -hmm. is that true that everything is not for everybody's height? That's absolutely true. Wow. Mm -hmm. So look, you know, I know one more thing I gotta ask you about is Brazilla. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I 
actually love that show. <laughs> yes, I do too. <laughs> you know, so tell mm -hmm. us about your affiliation with that show. Okay, so um, Bridezilla, it's coming back. It's a hit show. It's coming back to TV, to WeTV, uh, this spring, actually like in another month or so. And so my friend Lolly White from Preacher's Daughter, she called me and she's like, okay, well, my friend's getting married and we're going to go on Bridezilla and I need you to design my dress. <laughs> And I'm like, absolutely. And so she's like, well, I'll pull you on the show. So that's basically what happened. Wow. And I had so much fun. I mean, those cameras were rolling, and we were showing up and showing out <laughs> <laughs> every day. So it was really like she was a, she had to be like this true Brazil. Yes, she was. Wow. Mm -hmm. She oh my was. God. That's yeah. exciting. It is, it is. So you know what, is that something that you love to do as well as design wedding gowns? Yes, I do. Wow. Because mm -hmm. that's so unlimited. Yeah, I, I design wedding gowns, you know, per case. You know, depends on my availability, but I'm getting more into it because I eventually want to have a bridal line. Wow, mm -hmm. that's big. I take one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's really big. Yeah. And you know, to see a woman, mm -hmm. you know, and as they say, a woman of color who is doing so many amazing yes. things, who's not being limited because you're not stopping at one thing. Mm -hmm. You're doing women, you're doing men. Yes. You know, I didn't even know you did purses. Yeah, I do. <laughs> is that is that challenging to do? You know what, no, actually it's not. Because like, just like with my clothing, as, I, as you asked me earlier, when I'm out and as I was a little girl, teenager, and I would go to the mall with my friends, we would go into these couture stores. And what I would do is I would touch the dresses, feel them, look at the hems, and I would take a look and see, well, how is this sewn? What type of a hem is that? Because I didn't actually learn how to sew in school. I'm self-taught from my mom, as I mentioned. And everything else I learned on my own. So um, later on, I wanted to know, what are these things that I'm doing? What, are, what is this called, you know, hand basting when I'm hand sewing? And so I went back to school, and that was some time ago. Wow. And I actually went to fashion, well, to El Camino College, and that's where I met my mentor, wow. my fashion mentor. Mm -hmm. That's big. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I really applaud you because a lot of people feel like, oh, I already have it. I don't yeah. need to go and get mm -hmm. extra. But knowledge is definitely power. Yes, it is. Well, you know, we're going to be right back. And if it's OK with you, we're going to have some Q&A from the audience. Sure. So you guys that. stay tuned. We'll be right back. What if you could invest in the future? The future of kids, like a stock. Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change. A whole new kind of investment called Better Futures. When you invest, it helps kids go to college. Believe in us, invest in us, watch us grow. My name is Sydney, and I'm your dividend. We, we just, just finished, finished dinner, dinner, and it was time for homework. He hates homework. homework. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying as hard as, as I can. One in five children struggle with learning and attention issues. Go from misunderstanding to understood.org. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Right now, Ms. Leotine, if it's okay with you, we want to take some Q&A from the audience. Sure. So let's meet one of our audience members. Great. My name is Connie, and my question is, um, my daughter is nine years old, and she's an upcoming designer. What advice would you have um, for her to collaborate with other, with other people? Okay. Nine years old? That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. Well, first of all, she needs to find the type of clothing that she wants to design. Like, what's her passion? Does she like to make dresses, um, pants, skirt? Uh, right now, she's currently really, she's made uh, like skirts and a lot of dress, uh, like tops. Okay, so, so just fun, did... flirty type things. Yes, just fun stuff. Okay, well, find another designer that you like. We should all have a mentor, even if you don't know them. You don't have to know your mentors. We have the internet now. You can Google them. You can look them up. And then what you do is, you pattern after what they're doing first, and you find your niche within that. If it's something that that designer does that's similar to you, you want to kind of pattern after that until you find your niche. Then you take that and make it and create it yours. Great. Thank mm -hmm. you. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, and I always refer back to the Bible because mm -hmm. that's just what that's I know. Right. But, you know, he said, you know, follow those who already went ahead Thank and you. did what you wanted to do. Yeah. That really creates success for you. That's right. You wow. Can't, mm -hmm. You can't allow other people to tell you what you should design. You design what's in your heart because designing is from your heart. It's passion. You have to have that passion within you because when you're creating, you're creating the, the flow that is coming from you into your clothing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, we have another question from another guest. Hi, my name is Cynthia, and I will be getting married this year. Ooh, and I would like to know what best suit my body. Okay, so what type of dresses do you like? 
Do you like dresses that are sleeveless? Do you like sleeves? Do you like cleavage? I don't want no sleeves. No <laughs> sleeves? So no sleeves. So you're, because most women, you know, with our arms, because I'm one of them, I have this thing where I don't like certain angles of my arm. If you're fun with your arms and you love your arms, then you can pretty much do anything you want. I would do something that was uh, a lot of cleavage and in a princess heart shape. And do you like body conscious, meaning like it's fitted to the body, or do yes. you like flirty skirties, things that I go like out? I like the mermaid look. Okay, well, I would do something that is body conscious with the heart because it's a symbol of love and have a nice princess corset and then at the bottom have it body conscious and what do, what do you think about a train? Because I love things that extend. Yeah. Okay. Wow. I think that would be beautiful and I think that it should fit you really nice because I'm looking at your figure and I always, all my clients, you have to base your client on their figure because everybody has a, just like with makeup with your face, we all have a look, we all have a shape, we all have our own identity. So you want to take your own identity and personality and put it into your design. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. wow. You're very welcome. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, before we leave, mm -hmm. because time just yes. goes so fast, <laughs> it flies. I want everybody to stay following you, okay. and, you know, and if they want more information about what you're doing, that they definitely can contact you. So okay. can you give that to everybody? Okay. Well, my website is leontinecollection.com. You can follow me on Instagram at leontinecollection or at leontineabdullah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much You're for being welcome. on the show. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Great. You're the bomb. You're the bomb. <laughs> Look, I thank everybody so much for tuning in to the show and I want you to continue to follow all my guests because truly they are living life unlimited and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time y'all, I'm your girl, Melody Tries. Hey. <laughs>